some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video was sent to me by a subscriber of mine just a few minutes ago, and it depicts a deplorable act done by the frauded in group known as Impact Media as they lay out a man and who was trying to help out an older lady who was in need of his assistance due to these frauditors, and he ends up going to the hospital, while a couple of them end up getting arrested because of this stupidity. So without further ado, let's get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? In a strange turn of events at the Brentwood Post Office today involving a costume man and a lady with a cane that led to self-described First Amendment activists caught on camera attacking a customer. And this apparently was all not some setup for some reality show, even though it looks like it. Fox 11's Haley Winslow is live with a story you'll see only on Fox 11. Haley, we all got to bear with you because there is a lot going on here. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. But uh, for the sake of uh, my channel's safety and YouTube's algorithm and everything like that, I'm only going to show still pictures of... Uh, the issue on uh, my channel, but I will leave a link in the description box below for the full video so you can watch it in its entirety. And, uh, well, we can do something about these frauditing scumbags, uh, hopefully at some point, because, you know, well, at least two of them are taken down, and maybe this will, uh, will be two less frauditors out on the street, uh, being a nuisance to everybody. <laughs> Yeah, the video is crazy. It gets really hard to watch. And this all happened 830 in the morning, right when the post office opens here in Brentwood and ends with one man getting rushed to the hospital and now filing a lawsuit. It was so surreal and so out of the ordinary and shocking to see. Get off him. Get off him. Violence at the Brentwood Post Office as a camera crew puts a customer in a chokehold and stomps on the man's head. All I could think of that anybody would think of is George Floyd. The guy was having trouble breathing. Josh Paris captures it all on his phone. It was 8.30 a.m. Paris checks his P.O. box and sees a costumed character on his way out. All right, what are you out here for at the post office? Um, freedom of expression. Freedom of expression. First Amendment rights. Constitutional. He and his friends are self-proclaimed oh, First yeah. Amendment auditors. Did, did you happen to catch that? Uh, what the real journalist uh, was talking about? Uh, the fake journalists calling themselves First Amendment auditors? Yeah, apparently these uh, real journalists know about these guys and what they do and how much havoc they wreak through, throughout the country. And this is just a sampling of what's to come if these Frauditors continue down this path. It's part of an online group called Impact Media that stand for freedom of speech and peaceful assembly. Though this was anything but. Uh, what do you call yourself? Uh, sh uh, what the hell? Shadow bug man. No, 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 shockwave, shockwave. Fitting because 15 minutes later, he and his troops definitely send shockwaves through the post office. It starts with this elderly woman hitting the First Amendment defenders with her cane, trying to shoo them away. <laughs> Paris says a bystander named Robert tries to help the woman, and the violence quickly escalates. Thrown to the ground, strangled around his neck with somebody's arm, and a foot stomped on his head. Paris says he and a few others call 911, and one of the attackers runs away. But when LAPD arrives, that first amendment defender returns camera rolling. Officers quickly put he and two of his buddies in handcuffs while paramedics rushed Robert to the ER. Where he was having trouble moving his neck and he was hyperventilating. And as the few minutes went by, his breathing got more labored and I could see he probably needed medical attention, which he finally got. Yeah, it's freedom of speech, not freedom to be violent. You know, witnesses here thought that this was all a Hollywood stunt, that or a very bad dream. And to be fair, it did have all the elements with the stormtroopers, the elderly woman with the cane, and the very violent brawl. And anyone, he, Robert says, I've talked to him several times today, says anybody who thinks that this is a setup can have a look at my medical records. Reporting live here in Brentwood, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. This isn't the first time that this group has done this. They've got a history of... Uh, putting people in the hospital 
over shit like this. And this has got to stop. But you know what? This is California this is happening in. A lot of other states wouldn't tolerate this kind of BS. And they would have had the whole crew put into jail until they figured out who was the one that was responsible for putting this man in the hospital. But but you know what? Two of them did get arrested. So maybe there will be some justice in this uh, particular case. And this man intends to sue somebody over this. The post office and maybe the two frauditors who were most likely ID'd at the scene. Or any of the other idiots who tried this. So we'll have to keep an eye out for this particular case and see what happens. And on a further note, I did not see uh, their version of this video on uh, Impact Media or even Lizard Media uh, at this point uh, in time whenever I was uh, creating this video. So at this time, who knows whether or not they're going to put this BS up or not. It certainly doesn't make them look good at all. But at any rate, guys, I hope you uh, tried to enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?